Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price as usual and also we're gonna compare the DXY to the Bitcoin price. But before we start, a little reminder. If you want to participate on our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway, then make sure to participate and comment on the video that is popping up at the end of this video where it says subscription video. There you have to put the hashtag, the comment and your Bitcoin address in the comment section in that video. We're going to select at the end of this week the lucky winner and this week it's going to be $20 worth of Bitcoin. So definitely make sure to participate on our weekly giveaway. And also if you want to subscribe to any of these exchanges that you see here in the video, which I also recommend you, then use the links that you find down below here in the video description. You will find many useful links here that gives you some rewards and sign up bonus if you use my link, for example, for Swissborg, Binance, Coinbase, Bybit and so on. And now let's start with the content because Bitcoin after this drop that we have seen yesterday is looking like that we're gonna have here a bit of sideways moving, a little bit of consolidation before we are heading into the next big move. But since we are bouncing here from a very important level, you can see that after we topped out here at $12,500, we came down here to the 0.236 Fib line at 10,350. And if here we're gonna lose this support, then prepare to see $9,800 and most likely also lower prices again. Currently, I'm expecting a possible bounce to the upside towards here the $10,700 area, which also previously acted as a resistance. So there is a very high chance that we maybe could go up here to retest this area before we see continuation to the downside. So if you plan to open up a short position, for example, here on Bybit or along, then watch out for this $10,700 level if you're reaching up to those levels, maybe here to open up a short position or if you're already in a long right now, then once we're gonna reach 10,700, make sure to log in profits and always put a stop loss in your trade. RSI currently is very oversold here in the one hour time frame. You can see that after I got here a buy signal, after being oversold, we bounced to the upside and currently we're fighting with the 20 moving average, which is a resistance. So as long as we are closing one hour candle below $10,500, we are getting rejected from the 20 moving average. And if you're able to break through, then watch out here for the 50 moving average at exactly 10,700 and maybe even here the 200 moving average at $10,800. So I'm expecting a possible breather here to the upside after this big drop that we had yesterday yesterday so watch out for these levels if we're gonna see in the next couple of hours a breather to the upside and also if we switch over into the Bollinger Band you can see that we're squeezing here in this tiny channel here between 10,370 and 10,500 dollar so I'm expecting here the price possibly to overshoot to the upside also because currently we are trading in the upper area we also have MACD and KST shifted to the upside only stochastic is still overbought so here maybe we could see a possible cool off but most likely we're gonna have a here breather to the upside and if we go over into the DXY here you can see a very interesting thing and the thing is that we broke out from this resistance here at 9350 as expected and also it looks like that we're building up a support above. So I'm expecting here still some continuation to the upside in the DXY potentially between 95 to 97 dollars and that would indicate that we also gonna see continuation to the downside in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price. We are currently a bit overbought here also in the RSI and the DXY so also here I'm expecting a possible correction to the downside to potentially test here the 20 moving average or maybe even here the 50 or 200 at 93 dollars that is possible and that's why I still think there is a high chance that in the stock market and Bitcoin price we're gonna see a possible bounce here to the upside and now let's switch over into the four hour time frame because here also everything is still again more bearish than bullish but it looks like that we could see a possible bounce here to the upside to also test here the 20 moving average in the four hour, which is also right at $10,700. So you see that this price level is very important right now. If we're able to break through again to the upside, I think we will see continuation to the upside. But if 10,700 is our new resistance and we're gonna confirm it, then prepare to see way lower prices. 
and uh, we also have here the RSI currently in oversold condition so a bounce to the upside is very likely and even if we would break here the 20 moving average the 50 and 200 here at around 10,800 to 11,000 dollars still above of us and I think we have a lot of resistance in those levels so that's why in case that you want to open up a short position then watch out for these price levels and if you're already now in a long position and also watch out for these levels because there we could top out if you think that here we're gonna see a possible bounce to the upside and if we have a look into the dxy here the opposite you can see that currently we're trading above all the moving averages and we are here in very close overbought condition so also here there is a high chance that we maybe come down here to test the 20 moving average here and 93.30 and that's why we could see a possible breather to the upside in the bitcoin price and although if you have a look into the bollinger band in the four hour you can see that currently we are trading in the lower end so also here there is a high chance that we could see a test here of the middle line here even up towards 10,770 maybe even towards the first moving average here at 10,570 so between here and then gonna see if we're able to close a four hour candle above 10,700 dollar or not we have KST and MACD shifted to the downside, which is also bearish. And even though we could see a breather, I still think we're going to see continuation to the downside. And also stochastic is still in oversold condition. So also here it looks like that we're going to see a possible breather coming up pretty soon. And now let's open up also the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we had a close below the 20 daily moving average and in order to confirm this breakout probably now we will go up to also retest here the 20 daily moving average at 10,750 and if today we are going to close a daily candle below this price level then I think this is confirmation that we're going to see continuation to the downside potentially towards here the 200 daily moving average which is reaching up here at our previous big resistance trend line that now should be acting as a support right here at $9,200. We also have the RSI currently trading below the 50 level and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can also see that currently we closed a daily candle below the middle line so in theory here we could easily drop again towards 10k especially if today's gonna get confirmed that 10,700 is the new resistance stochastic is shifted to the downside and also macd and kst are starting to look like they could have a possible bearish cross but not yet but i'm keeping an eye here on the kst and macd because if they're gonna have a bearish cross then prepare for a another big leg down towards 10k and possibly even lower and now let's have a look also in the DXY in the daily time frame because here currently we closed even below the 50 daily moving average so not only above the 20 daily but also above the 50 daily moving average and this is why I'm telling you guys that most likely we're gonna see a big spike here to the upside still incoming here in the DXY because if we're coming up here to test the 200 daily moving average in the DXY and get rejected here with this move we're gonna have a huge crash in the stock market and Bitcoin price much bigger than what we have seen yesterday and therefore here I'm expecting resistance in the DXY and from here on if we're gonna reach and test this moving average then we're gonna see continuation here to the downside in the DXY and another big spike to the upside in the Bitcoin and stock market prices and here you also can see that we are keeping up with our support trend line here in the RSI in the DXY and right now we're also breaking above the 50 level in the RSI and we have a lot of room left to the upside so the DXY is gonna be very very dangerous here for the Bitcoin and stock market price and that's why be prepared for a possible dump incoming here the DXY is looking very bullish in my opinion at least for a possible test here of the 200 daily moving average but of course if we zoom out we are still in the downtrend here in the DXY and I'm expecting rejection here at $97 but based here on the chart it is very likely that the DXY could have a big pump towards the 200 daily moving average get rejected and then continue the downwards movement here and therefore we're gonna see the opposite in the Bitcoin and stock market and now let's switch back into the Bitcoin price and have a final look into the weekly time frame because currently we are coming down towards the 20 weekly moving average and of course we have to see where we're going to close this weekly candle. If we are able to close above 10,130 then I think we should be still good to go to the upside 
but if here we're gonna have a weekly close below this price level so let's say below ten thousand dollar then be prepared to see a possible correction down at least towards this nine thousand area and in the worst case even towards the 200 weekly moving average here at around seven thousand dollar that would be really the worst scenario and in my opinion only if really the dxy is reaching this 97 dollars but even then i think it is not very likely that we're coming down to those levels but of course this is still possible because also here based on the bollinger band if we're gonna have a close below 10k then we could even drop here towards the bottom of eight thousand two hundred dollar and of course that would be very bearish at least for the short term but for us it would be a good opportunity to scale in big long positions and also buy some more cheap bitcoin and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to moon up the likes also participate to our weekly giveaway and also if you need any kind of trading exchanges or you want to buy some bitcoin for example on coinbase where you can also get some free cryptos and dollars if you use my links down below here then check out all the links in the video description so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye